with me. Do it. Let's go. Do it. It's on you. Need my help, do you? With me. Copy. You and me. You good? We got this. Give them hell. Oh, let's go. Check it out. Just them? Guess so. To. Is that... Junar. Shinra territory. Come on. Great Condor said to roost on the island's abandoned reactor. Though well, there's no longer any way to reach the isle, or at least none that I'm aware of. They just finally reclaimed what Shin was stolen. Uh, well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. It didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go.
Oh, look at that. Another Chocobo Ranch. I wonder where the owner's hiding. Junon's Chocobo Ranch. Perhaps you were already aware, but the Chocobos here are raised on a diet of feed, seaweed, and fishbone meal. Unsurprising, given the local industry. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Cloud, I have recreated. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete. to sing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. Do what? Ah, God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Choco Pack. I'm Gabe, by the way, owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. It ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? 
says the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the Chocobos? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him. And his birds. Pretty, pretty, please. Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but... I gotta warn you, the parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot, though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. And she ain't a big fan of people. All right, let's roll. Sorry for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. That can't. He won't. Hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait. Seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? Afraid so. Huh. That jerk. Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the Chocobos. Let's do this. Keep it together. Alright! Watch and learn! 
We won't hold back. <laughs> Under Juno. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop on. It's their friggin' MO. One moment. Hmm? Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. <gasps> half 
have a million? <laughs> Down here, though, we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Huh? Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. You'll be safe here. Relax. Hey, you can trust me. Cross my heart. black robes around here somewhere, so how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. The thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Who do you think will get... License first, me or you. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects... Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's such a special girl. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Come back soon! Where do they keep the smutty stuff? Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Now, that once proud metropolis is mere flotsam, courtesy of Shinra. In its place, the company built a new, unsinkable city of steel to stand as a warning to any who might dare to oppose them. Or so I was taught. Many years ago, this a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Hey, you see that tree? Children of the planet, huh? listen. Be the voice of our great mother. Hear our she weeps. 
Wait, you want to buy something? Here? Okay. Fishing village, this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robed friends are SOL. Been an age since we. Nothing. Believe it or not. We're recruiting for Crown. to throw down, are ya? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, named Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail?
you took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. Uh. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. Just so many fascinating back. possibilities. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Whenever you are. You want to play?
bad. But next, you gotta beat me. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you.
I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. We should have never let them build. Waters here used to be teeming with fish, practically jumping to your boat, way people tell it. But ever since the offshore reactor came online, only things caught in the nets are monsters, and I ain't talking tuna. Shinra just couldn't help themselves. Had to go and poison the sea, too. Ocean's real quiet today. allowed in here. No grown-ups. Ace Angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience.
goodness me. This makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know. Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then deal them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. <laughs> 